Welcome to Falang Day. My name is Sunny Burns, and our program is about practicing English in a chill, chill yet fun environment. I believe that practicing English in a real life situation will make your English stronger. Today, we'll give our guest one thousand baht for completing the mission. Our mission is to speak for five minutes with a native speaker, and that native speaker is me. All right, let's welcome our first guest. Hello. Welcome, Swadi Kab. Swadi Kab. Take a seat now. Okay. Are you a bit nervous? Yes, I'm really excited. You're very nervous. Yes. Okay. No. So, okay, you can try in now. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Can you please introduce yourself to me? Uh, I'm Fei. I'm a novelist. Uh, mm -hmm. But I won't say my author name. Okay. And are you from Thailand? I'm from Thailand, and and how about you? Oh, I'm half British, half Australian. Wow! Today we have a mission for you. So your mission is to speak English for five minutes, and you have to ask lots of questions and no dead <coughs> air. So today the subject matter is being a writer, being an author. Okay? Because okay. you're an author, is that correct? Okay. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Um, who is your favorite writer, uh, author? Who is my favorite author? Do you, do you read Harry Potter? <laughs> oh, I'm really like I'm so bad with reading books, but I read a lot of like self-help books, like a lot of like oh. inspirational books. Like I'm Buddhist as well, so I like to read lots of Buddhism books. Um, at the moment, I'm reading a book by Eckhart Tolle called "The Power of Now." Mm. But I should read more books. I'm too busy watching Thai series. Ah, <laughs> uh, then how about uh, what your favorite movie? Movie from book? Book? From where? Sorry. Uh, from book. Fifty Shades of Grey. I really love Fifty Shades of Grey. Wow! <laughs> I never read yeah. that. Really? Oh, I love Fifty Shades of Grey. Maybe because all my friends are Thai girls here in Thailand, and they're all crazy about Christian Grey. So I get dragged along to the cinema to watch Fifty Shades of Grey. But it's fun that I. No, 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 no. That's for my heart. Oh, really? Oh <laughs> wow! Yeah. It made me shy, and my body is blushing. Really? Oh, yeah. Like little yes, red yes. cheeks there. <laughs> Oh, wow! Uh -huh. uh, and do you have uh, some money? Just about to three hundred. If you have three hundred, then you can go to any bookstore and buy my book. You want you me want? to give you money? <laughs> well, if you speak English good today, you'll get one thousand baht. Mm. Buy buy my book. And and I ha have a sign for you. Oh, to buy your book. Yes. Oh, I thought you wanted me to buy you a book. Someday in the future, uh -huh. maybe it's become a uh, bestseller. Bestseller. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll buy your <laughs> book when it's released. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. Uh, and um, I I I want to know: Do you are British and half Australian? Uh, do you like British or Australian the most? Because it's really far. Mm -hmm. I never been in Australian and British, but I. Okay, good oh. question. Good question. So I think for me, all my family mm -hmm. is British, mm -hmm. but I went to high school and my whole life was in Australia. Wow. So for me, it's kind of about the same. For me, I like both. I think what I like about Australian culture is the like the personality, the characteristics. Oh. I love that about Australians. Australians are like really chill, chill. And in um, in English, in Australia, we have this word called a uh, battler, which means like consulsu. Oh. And that's what I love about Australian culture is about being a battler, which means like consulsu ma. I love that about um, Australian culture, but about British culture, it's because my my grandmother was very into manners, 
Jimmy Maliard, Port Sur Pa. Uh, uh, uh. So I love that about British culture, how it encourages um, people to speak um, polite. But not every British people are like that, but my grandma was like that. And um, do you have seen koala in real life? Is, yep. is they fluffy? Oh, they're so delicious. I huh? love eating koalas. You're so mean! No, I'm joking, I'm not joking, I'm joking. <laughs> but no, koalas are quite vicious. Oh. Vicious um, means like dork. Oh. Dork. Like they're like real, real, which I real, real, but like they're very like scary. True? Yeah. But koalas are not very cute. They might look cute, but yes. they're, they're a bit scary. And they have these really long Now? claws. Of course. Claws. Yeah. <laughs> what, was, what was our topic today? I forgot. Oh, I forgot. Oh, Maybe author. about my... Yes, uh, uh -huh. about her. About being an author. Mm. Well, uh, I, re I write my story and public myself. Uh -huh. uh, write and go to some, some shop and, and tell them that I want to make this story into the book. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe 50, maybe 100 because I'm a no-name author, mm -hmm. not famous yet. Oh wait, time's up. Uh, Good job. How did you think that you went? Uh, it's up to you, but uh -huh. I want to win too. Uh -huh. But do you feel confident? How do, how do you feel that you went with your English? Mm. I get it. <laughs> how do you feel that you went with your English? I feel I have some confidence to talk with uh, people that mm -hmm. I never met before, but I'm not confident in my English uh, about accent or grammar. Mm -hmm. I just want to communicate with other people, that's all. That gives me a lot of strength to talk in English. Mm -hmm. So at first, you were a little bit nervous. And yes, then because this is first time in TV show. That's okay, but in general, normally when Thai people first meet a Falang or a native speaker, they get super nervous and they're shaking. But then um, as time went by, you were like more chill chill. And that's what it's all about, being chilled and speaking English. But um, one thing I noticed is that you're super um, worried about your grammar and your accent. <laughs> but in real life, Falang don't care if you have a Thai accent, American accent or anything. So at the end of the day, you're a Thai person speaking English. So you should be proud of your accent. And when I speak English, my grammar is always bad. So today we're speaking about the koala, okay? Remember the koala are really yes. delicious? <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, you love eating koala? <laughs> no, okay, but I'm just joking. So before you said koala nails, uh, but it's claws. Claw. Yeah, C-L-A-W-S, claws. Mm -hmm. And claw is one, okay? Mm -hmm. So animals, or not all animals, but most animals have claws. Uh, and before I said um, the word vicious, Vicious. Vicious means duk. Uh, duk. duk. Yeah, I mean like the dog is vicious. Uh, so it means like that. So it means like very like aggressive. Uh, yeah. I know. Okay. Okay. So one thing that I really like liked about you today was that you just didn't care. You just spoke and just <laughs> I really like that today. And you spoke English really, really cute. Uh -huh. Thank you. So I'm really happy with how that you went. And because of that, you win 1000 bar. Yes, thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's all, right. all that we have time for today. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you don't have to speak English perfectly. It's about trying and having a go. Isn't that right? Yes. Okay. Be brave and talk to Frank. <laughs> so, if you want to join our TV show, send us a message on Facebook at Bungaboo TV. Thank you for watching and have a good day.